All right, guys, in today's video, we're gonna try a breakfast casserole. This is a blueberry French toast casserole. It is a family recipe, guys. About five years ago, I went on this little family reunion and we ate man at a beach house. And um, somebody in the family, my niece brought a blueberry French toast casserole. It was amazing, it was so good. I never made this before, but it's my first time actually making it, but I got the recipe from her and I still kept it over the years and I wanna try it for you guys. Um, I think it makes a lot. So what you need to do first is butter a casserole pan. I'm gonna do that in a second. So I have some butter right here. And then you're gonna need 12 slices. They say day old bread, but at the time my sister was gluten free. I think she still is. And she, she got this, this is, what, this is what she got. And I really love the bread in this casserole. It's the UD's gluten free soft white bread. And she used that, and I thought it just, oh, it just tasted so good in the casserole. I really liked it. We're going to be cutting up 12 slices, or the whole, the whole loaf, really, the whole loaf of bread, after I butter it and put it on there. And I'll show you what that looks like afterwards. All right, I have some butter right here. I know it's just going to butter the, butter the pan just a little bit, just enough to get it, like, lightly buttered, you know? All right, so right now, you're just going to put, like, half the bread. Make sure it's cubed up and little pieces only half of the bread and then um, after you do that you're gonna actually cut up some cream cheese I'll show you how to do I'll show you how to do that all right that's about half the bread now I'm gonna go ahead you're gonna need four of these eight ounces of cream cheese if you can get fine soft get that otherwise you're gonna cut them in cubes and then you're gonna put them on the bread I have some cream cheese cubed up. You're just gonna put it on top of the bread. So I'm gonna make a few changes with this recipe. Um, so, you know, I know I said that you need, a, you need a four eight ounce packages of cream cheese. And I was like, wow, that's a lot. Right here, this is a lot. This is, this is so right here, this is about two eight ounces of cream cheese. Now I'm thinking if I add any more cream cheese, that would just be so much cream cheese. So I think it really is two packages of eight ounces. So that's what we're gonna do. So the next step is to add the remaining of the breadcrumbs. So that's what we're gonna do. I thought this pan, this is a, this is a three quart casserole pan. I thought this might be too big, but now I think it's perfect it's gonna make a lot so it's like there's another thing for single people what do you do with leftovers i don't know if i can freeze this or not maybe but i remember when so i remember when i had this it was really nice i i was eating this breakfast casserole and i was at there we had we were at a beach house and i had the perfect view of the beach it was very beautiful and very nice and I was thinking, this is this was so good. It, this would be great for breakfast. It'll be great for a dessert. Great for dinner I mean, because it has a lot of protein. And because because of the cream cheese, you know, protein for there it has. Also, guys, I'll be adding a dozen eggs. That's probably going to be the next step. I have to check. I think that's the next step. Adding the dozen eggs. There's a lot of protein to this dish. You can make it gluten free by getting gluten free bread. And this is making a lot, guys. All right, guys, I didn't film the part, but I did beat 12 eggs. You're supposed to add one cup of milk and a third cup of maple syrup. And then after that, you're just gonna pour it over the bread cheese mixture. I'm gonna do that right now.
All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover with foil and bake it at 350 for 30 minutes. Then after 30 minutes, you can remove the foil and bake it for another 30 minutes or until golden brown. There's also a sauce we have to add after it bakes, but I'll do that later. We have another 50 more minutes for the blueberry French toast casserole to be done. So we're gonna start on the topping mixer, guys. So what you need, um, just get a small pan, mix one cup of sugar, and you'll need two tablespoons of cornstarch. You'll need one cup of water. All right, next you're gonna to bring to a boil, probably about three minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, now you're gonna stir in the blueberries. About one cup. All right, just stir in the blueberries and you're gonna simmer for eight to 10 minutes until the blueberries start to burst. All right, it's been about 10, 15 minutes. It took a while for the blueberries to burst, but you can see the color is changing. It's more like a um, blue color, so they are burst. Now, the last part of the topping is add one tablespoon of butter and mix it. All right, I just added one tablespoon of butter. I'm just gonna mix it. As you can see, the sauce is getting thick. The color is amazing. That's what it's supposed to be like. And the casserole is done. I checked it. All I have to do is add this topping. It'll be done. Like I said, guys, this is great for dessert, too. A lot of times I come home, like last night I came home from work and I was craving ice cream, so I got a little bit of ice cream. <laughs> But yeah, this would be really great for dessert. All right, I just took out the French toast casserole. Now you're just gonna add this um, amazing blueberry mixture all over the casserole. All right, here is my blueberry French toast casserole. Looks amazing.